Hey guys and welcome to Orza Scale. So people ask me all the time what my best or favorite free keyword research tool is. And for sure my go-to tool is searchresponse.io. I think this tool is extremely undervalued and underused and uh, has some of the more unique features out there. So all you have to do, create a free account like so. And then you have a myriad of different options and opportunities starting with people also ask. And here you want to enter your seed keywords that consist of um, two to four words preferably. And the way I like to use it is to find low competition underserved keywords. So if we have our favorite example like can dogs, which I did capitalize for some reason, and press enter. Then we have a huge, huge list of keywords. We can add to these keywords. So if we choose it, we will only get the keywords that contain the word eat, like what kind of cake can dogs eat. And let's just assume this is what we want. Then what we can do, and this is extremely important, is to focus on recency. So for some of the niches, and I will demonstrate that in a second, recency is very important, but let's just stick to this example here. So to find the low competition and the serve keywords, I would go to domains. And then I would go, I would try and find Quora or Reddit. So here we found Quora. So if we click on Quora, now we have uh, ourselves a huge list of keywords starting from can dogs eat that Quora is ranking for. So can dogs eat dead worms? This looks like a fun one. Let's double check if this is accurate. And yeah, <laughs> yeah, this is accurate. So Quora is ranking number one for why dogs eat dead earthworms. And then to make sure that uh, you have a fighting chance against Quora, since Quora answers have been boosted by Google recently or Reddit, you would want to look at the response. So this is a pretty lengthy response for Quora, but nothing to write home about. And now what I can do is to figure out if I need additional information to again uh, outrank Quora. So I would go to the people also search for a tab. And this is actually unique because it used to be right here. But now Google is only showing related searches. So uh, this feature is unique to search response. So I will just continue on with my initial question, which is can dogs eat dead worms? What I'm looking for right now is the SERP overlap feature, which is again a unique feature, which I haven't seen anywhere. And this answers the decade old question of whether a key term deserves a separate article or not. But this time I want big overlap because I want to know uh, which information should be included into the can dogs eat dead worms article rank it from highest overlap to lowest So if I'm writing about can dogs eat dead worms, I should be writing about why does my dog eat dried worms? <laughs> dead worms in dog poop will eating earthworms hurt my dog how to stop your dog eating worms Type of worms in dog poop and I have chosen an amazing topic for today Science of worms in dog poop and you get the gist so you get a, a list of questions and I would probably go as far as uh, around 40% and then I will just include all these key terms into the can dogs eat dead worms article So let's um, choose another topic. So let's go back to people also ask now let's try something related to ChatGPT, since one of my websites is in the AI niche. What about just ChatGPT? Domains, once again, Quora. Can ChatGPT code be detected? Can I install? Is grammarly affected by ChatGPT? It's actually a good one. I think this will give us a lot of additional ideas related to plagiarism. Yeah, there you go. Grammarly AI detector can Grammarly detect AI writing. So these are good topics to branch out to. Nice, what about related searches? Will we get any this time? What about just chat GPT and Grammarly? Mm, okay, so these people are looking for the best free AI content generator, essay writer, as well as general guidance on how to use Grammarly AI and Grammarly AI writer. So. If you are trying to build that Grammarly silo, these might be good topics. Okay, let's check the trending keywords. Grammarly AI. Oh, wow. So this is trending. Grammarly AI, Grammarly AI checker. And look at that. Look at the percentages on these. Look at the trends. So see what we did here. Let's just revisit the whole process. So we first went to people who also ask and we looked for ChatGPT. Then we filtered by domain and we got 47 response from Quora. 
And what caught my eye is Grammarly affected by ChatGPT. So that was a good low competition keyword. Then we pasted it into people also search for section and saw that these people are interested in grammar checkers, free grammar checkers as well, and Grammarly AI detectors and Grammarly AI writers. And once we went to trending searches, we saw that uh, this is actually a hugely successful topic. So what I would do, I would pick this keyword here, which is a local edition keyword. This will be perfect for a starter website. Then I would look at the overlap and Grammarly AI detector is actually looked up 20% of the time when answering the main query as well as the Grammarly AI bot. So this would be like entities Grammarly AI detector, and we might not rank for these exact key terms on their own, but they are expected to be at least mentioned in this article here. And just double checking ourselves, we see that Grammarly AI is amongst the top trending terms. And when mentioning Grammarly AI, we should be also mentioning Grammarly AI Writer, like in 10 minutes or maybe less, we found a low competition keyword, which is in a high competitive AA slash SEO niche. We found a few entities that we should be mentioning. And just coincidentally, these are some of the transient keywords like Grammarly AI. So these keywords contain one of the highly transient keywords that are just crushing it right now. So you will for sure outrank Quora by doing that. And yeah, this is just, I've spent like five minutes on search response.io and it just shows you the power of this tool, uh, which is free. You have limited searches on a free plan. But yeah, I invite you to check out uh, search response.io. It's completely free to register. You can play around. You can get a bunch of low competition keywords that Reddit and Quora are ranking for. You can check for the people also ask section for entities. So you can double check whether these are trending and if everything checks out, you will for sure have a very good article on your hands. Hope this was helpful. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And I'll see you next time.